Hi Pisces, this is Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. And this recent reading is behind the scenes on your person, okay? So we are doing whatever we can to uncover the truth about them. We could be hanging out at the side of their girlfriend's house, all right? We could, we could be going to their job, okay? <laughs> Just to see what they're up to here, to kind of enlighten you here in this reading, Pisces. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. And Pisces, uh, these are general readings, they may or may not resonate, and I realize that cross-watchers are watching, because this is your person's reading, right? Third parties could be watching, etc., and even meddling uh, mother-in-laws could be maybe watching this reading. <laughs> no, that's a joke. So let's get into the reading, Pisces. I hope you guys are all well, all right? And please realize, Pisces, these are general readings, and Pisces person, and they may or may not resonate, all right? If you guys get a message, please give a thumbs up. Let's get into the reading, Pisces. And uh, from the bottom of the deck, Pisces, this has already been shuffled, is the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, OMG. And I'm going to move these cards over so you guys can see them. Ace of Cups in the reverse, the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, this is a continuation. And the Fool card, the Four of Wands. I'm going to keep taking these cards until I feel like I'm done here. Yeah. And uh, the Three of Wands. Seven of Cups, Two of Swords. I feel like what this is right now, Pisces, because for me, uh, this reading is a continuation. Yeah, it is. And, uh, you know, more power to the person who's, uh, maybe the reader who is not doing a continuation, uh, maybe. But, uh, which is a whole no another subject, right? But in this reading, this looks like a continuation. Long story short, I feel like your person is this Knight of Pentacles, Pisces, who has been... Uh, making your life hell, basically. It could go, it could go vice versa, really. But I feel like they are dealing with this King of Wands person, uh, who is, uh, for some, it could be a Sag. The Ace of Cups is in the reverse next to this person. I feel like this person, Pisces, is, has put you, uh, in a third party with somebody here. And I feel like they're putting, they're, they, you know, I feel like this could be you, Pisces, in their reading, who is stuck about it and doesn't know what to do. This could be, somebody could also be, maybe there was a hard choice here. I feel like your person has already made a choice to move toward this other person. I really feel like that. The Fool is facing this Knight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah. And it could be, maybe it's a hard decision for you, for you to leave them. Maybe to turn your back on them because of it. But let's get into the reading to find out. And I'm going to put these back in the deck. Because I'm going to use this deck in the extended. Okay, so yeah, and I will reshuffle those. But in the meantime, um, let's get a few cards from Lenormand Pisces. Uh, the beautiful Pisceans of the world. Yeah, you guys are uh, awesome and uh, kind and compassionate. And love is the most important thing. Yeah, and you guys are the psychic mediums, you and Scorpio. Okay, so let's get into this here. And my daughter is a Pisces. I feel like you guys are uh, ultra-sensitive, and uh, that's how Sages, you know, Sages are looked on as not sensitive, so. <laughs> and I'm a Sag here, and my daughter has made this, uh, this third eye here, okay, which I feel like it is really this way, right? Yeah, I feel like it's this way. Third eye, you guys probably know that. Yeah, it is this way. The third eye is the, uh, is the pineal gland, right, Where, which is what we use for, uh, for intuition, right? And there's a psychic medium here on uh, on Vimeo. I'm not Vimeo on YouTube, and she's a Colombian lady, and she's awesome, and she makes predictions about you know world leaders and all those things. And she says herself, uh, not she's a vegetarian. So if you guys want to keep your intuition, you gotta like leave the meat. I know that's kind of hard, but I'm just saying leave the meat, leave the fluoride alone, and also the sugar. Okay, let's get into this and caffeine. All right, which is. Not that fun, all right? I mean, for some, right? <laughs> At least leave the cat the fluoride because you don't need uh, fluoridated toothpaste, all right? Because it does clog your pineal gland and, and parts of your intelligence, right? Yeah, they could say it, it could be helping to contribute to Alzheimer's, all right? So let's get into it. Um, I'm sure a lot of people don't want to hear that, especially younger people. They're like, what? Okay. Now, this is... Uh, from Lenormand, right, and I feel like what's going on here, uh, Pisces, is the scythe is showing up, guys, and the scythe is, talks about uh, cutting things out, right, making a quick cut, like, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cut this relationship out, this union, and I feel like because somebody else could have, like, 
looking at those cards at the bottom of the deck, I feel like somebody has the key to somebody's heart. And I feel like somebody is going to swim the seven seas to get to that person. Yeah, the stormy seas even, because that's what the anchor is about. It is about doing whatever you have to do to cross the sea, right? And weather the storm to get to the person you want to be with. And I feel like that's what's going on in this reading here. And this could be, uh, I feel like your person has somebody like that, Pisces. It could be vice versa. And I feel like you're going to make a quick cut over here. You're going to leave them out. And it could be somebody from the past that they are super loyal to with the dog showing up. Mm-hmm. And the clock is here. And this is what I mean about somebody from the past. Yeah. Okay. And I feel like it is a third party. We already saw that over here at the bottom of the deck. Yes, we did. And I can turn these cards over at least. And the clovers are here. This could be talking about uh, a surprise. I feel like you're going to make a surprise cut on your person. You're, you're going to be like, this is it. Okay. Uh, and they could be doing that to you, though. Okay. Now, your person's current energy or overall energy, Pisces, is the Three of Wands. I feel like this is in the upright. Let's see what we got here. I'm famous for doing this. All right. Let's see. Uh... Yeah, I feel like it is here. Mm -hmm. And, okay, the Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords is their crossing energy. I'm going to move these cards over, guys. Sorry about the philosophy here, but I feel like it has to do with intuition, and the tarot is all about that, right? Now, over here, Seven of Swords for them. Crowning their thoughts is the King of Cups. This is you, Pisces, in the near future, Knight of Cups. And their hopes and fears is a Knight of Wands. So let's get into this reading right now. And your person right now is in the Three of Wands energy, uh, Pisces. Let's see why. Okay, why are they in the Three of Wands energy? And why is that Three of Wands here? Three of Wands almost always needs uh, a clarification because it is a <clears throat> it has a lot of meanings, yeah, and they are they can be opposite, yeah, they are. Three of Cups, wow. Four of Cups, mm-hmm. I feel like your person, they could be turning their back on you to go toward a third party, uh, Pisces. I feel like that's what this is, what is happening here. Mm -hmm. They could be reuniting with somebody here. Mm -hmm. And that is making you feel, putting you in the Four of Cups energy. I feel like that's what this is. Especially with the bottom of the cards, bottom of the deck cards. Seven of Swords is challenging, crossing them. Why is the Seven of Swords crossing them? Four of Pentacles. This looks like Virgo's reading. This looks like it is completely uh, connected. The tower. Mm -hmm. Your person's holding on to somebody, and it has created a tower. And I feel like, yeah, and I, you, you know that. Ace of Wands are going to have a new beginning with that person. Mm -hmm. And this is why they are turning their back here. And this is putting you in this Four of Cups energy. I feel like this is you here. Mm -hmm. And this is them, the Seven of Swords, most likely. Okay? And remember, Pisces, these energies can go back and forth. So even though this is their reading, behind the scenes on them, this could still be you and some of these, yeah. Ace of Cups is the root. Why is the Ace of Cups? Why it's all happening for a Pisces person? Page of Swords in the reverse. And this is the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like your person uh, needed a long time or needed a lot of information to make this decision. That's what I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They could be, I feel like they're moving toward this Ace of Cups that they really want, and they're going to be single here. You could be married to somebody, maybe. It's possible. Mm-hmm. Wow. Or at least in a very long-term relationship with them. Yeah. And this could be you, maybe, Pisces, in this Four of Cups energy, like feeling kind of rejected and resisted, right? And unhappy in a situation. Yeah. And, you know, over here, in the root here, um, this Page of Swords in the reverse can sometimes talk about somebody who can't get over past hurts. Yeah, it can. 
the Four of Swords is in the recent past for your person. This talks about reflection and like, you know, trying to figure something out. And this that's why that page of swords is in the reverse, maybe. They they could have also just kind of figured it out. They could have they could have done that, yeah. And this cut here, yeah, okay, let's see here. Why is that four of swords there? Nine of Cups and the Six of Swords. I feel like, you know, in the recent past. Somebody could have been healing here, maybe, in the past here. I feel like this is just saying in the past that they were in reflection about it. Yeah, and now, in the root, they have kind of figured this out. I feel like that's what's going on. Crowning their thoughts, Pisces, is you, I believe. The King of Cups, all right? They're seeing you as the King. That's how I'm reading this. Why is that King of Cups there? And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. The Moon card. They could be dealing with a Sag in you. Because this could be related to Virgo's reading. And in Virgo's reading, there I feel like there is a Sag. At least in the extended, I feel like there totally is. Now, let's see here. They could be confused. This could be you showing up, Pisces, crowning their thoughts. Yes. And love. Yeah, I feel like that's what this is. I feel like what's on their mind here is the subject of love. Because I feel like they could be walking away. They could, You could be walking away from them or vice versa. Why is that moon there? For some of you, they are leaving you. Yeah, they are. Why is that moon card there? <coughs> Six of Cups. Yeah, this. I feel like this could be a secret. What could be on their mind is you and a secret here that is somebody from the past. <coughs> and they could be confused about this person, maybe. They could. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, this is interesting. Now, the Knight of Cups is in their near future. This knight, Why is that Knight of Cups there? I'm going to shuffle here. That's didn't even get to do one shuffle and card popping out. Why is that Knight of Cups there? Queen of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I was saying, I feel like you could be dealing with this uh, Virgo. Wow. Five of Cups. This is in the near future for them. Mm -hmm. They have regret here. They do, Pisces. They have some type of sad regret here. <coughs> mm -hmm. And sometimes the Five of Cups talks about love. It does. It talks about love and sadness. Love on one side with these two cups full and sadness and regret on the other side. Mm -hmm. And that can, like, you know, talk about between over two different people, right? It can. <coughs> and the Five of Cups is a sad ending. Yeah, it is. I feel like in the near future they're just they're, they're discerning a situation here. This could be you, Pisces, maybe. Uh-huh. Telling them, wow, you're gonna regret this. You could be doing that. Queen of Swords, pointing right at this uh pointing your sword, maybe this is you, at these this Knight of Pentacles, saying you're gonna regret this. You're gonna regret offering your cup to this person. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's what this is. This can be them discerning a matter. Discerning it, right? Like Thinking they're going to end up in regret. Let's get a card on the Five of Cups. Your person most likely is this Knight of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Yeah, wow. Big time. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like they could be... So in the near future, you're either telling them it's not going to work out with this person that they're walking away for. Or they could be discerning it. Kind of worried here. Like, wow, it might not work out. If I walk away, I could end up in regret. Wow. How they see themselves is the Seven of Cups. Why do they see themselves that way? Ten of Cups. Hangman in the reverse. Pisces, this is you showing up in the reverse, most likely. But they could also be seeing themselves as... I feel like uh, they're having a hard choice here, but they're seeing themselves as putting you in the reverse. So I feel like this hard choice here is leaving you out. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you know that exactly. Mm-hmm. Why is it hanging in there? Why is it hanging in there? Five of Wands. Yeah, about a third party. They could also be seeing themselves as... Uh, they could be seeing themselves as confused here. It's possibility here. Mm -hmm. 
confused maybe about their union with you a little bit, but I feel like they are, are seeing themselves as possibly making a really difficult choice. Seven of Cups. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it, it could also include a sacrifice they are not willing to make, which could be walking away. We'll get one more card. Why is Five of Wands there? Page of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like this is uh, like something that is not working out. Mm -hmm. I feel like what they're doing here is they're 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 making a hard choice. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they're making a hard choice to walk away, Pisces, because they're in this third party. Yeah, and I feel like the Page of Pentacles in the reverse is about your union with them. Like they're not going to have a new start with you. This can also talk about a union that they are headed toward based on a third party, right? Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Because the Page of Pentacles in the upright is about an earnest new start, like based on honesty and a stable new start. But when it's in the reverse, yeah, it can talk about uh, kind of based on dishonesty, but it can also talk about uh, a delay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, the Page of Wands is in their environment. Let's see, why is that Page of Wands in their environment? Please. Eight of Cups. Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like they're walking away here. But they are guarded and paranoid and worried. And it's showing up here in the reading. I feel like they're worried about a potential regret here after once they walk away. Yeah, this is crowning their thoughts. Or in the near future. It, it doesn't really matter. The Queen of Swords is there and she she is crowning. She's all about thoughts, right? Yeah, discernment is thoughts. And in their hopes and fears is this Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands in their hopes and fears? Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Empress, Chariot, Page of Cups, Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is pretty clear to me. Yeah, looking at those bottom of the deck cards. I feel like what this is, they could be dealing with the fire sign, right? But in their hopes and fears. Wow. I feel like uh, they're just hoping it's going to work out here. Yeah, they are. Because of this, they're hoping that they, they're going to, this person, I feel like, is going to, uh, once they take action, this person is going to put the work in with them. This person is this third party. And they're fearing that this person, they're hoping this person is not going to break their heart. Yeah. And we saw it. We see it over here. This person is the third party, Empress next to the Three of Swords. They're hoping they're going to have victory with this person. But they're fearing a burden here. Yes, they are with the Ten of Wands. And we're going to find out their potential outcome on Vimeo and also the underlying energies, how they feel about you, the blocks, challenges, and what they're hiding from you, uh, Pisces, and what they are afraid of, mm -hmm. and their true, not their true intentions, but their outcome, okay, over there on Vimeo, guys. And uh, all those extensions, Pisces, are super affordable. I feel like you guys already know that, right? So, yeah. And if you guys need your own reading, that is always the best way. If you guys got a message here, please give a thumbs up. Thank you so much to Pisces, the Cross Watcher, uh, the third party, whoever's watching, all right? Thank you so much, guys.